Hello everyone, it's Matsumus, and today we're talking about unmanned vehicles. And now in the future, I am going to be doing an actual serious video on this particular idea and concept. However, this video that I came across was utterly hilarious, so I thought I'd share it along with you guys. And I know you guys recently have been enjoying some of my uh, humorous videos in terms of military equipment and gaming. So I thought I'd do a couple more and keep you guys entertained into the new year. So let's talk about this little unmanned drone, shall we, and how absolutely hilarious this video actually brings this across as. Okay, so let's start off. This vehicle is, I guess, supposed to be showcased with this video, and uh, some of the things they got it doing are quite hilarious, but the initial part of this video, I guess it's doing, to me, what seems to be ballet in front of these three squaddies, and uh, it just looks absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my god, we fucking get it. It goes round in a circle and can point the guns into the sky. Wow, they're really putting this thing through its fucking paces. First it was ballet, now break dancing. They're not exactly picking the easiest of dance moves to perform. Wow, now they have to put it through a fucking driving course? Like, what do you have to do, a fucking learner's license for this damn thing and put L plates on it? There's a self-destruct button, press it. Please, press it now. Press it! Look at the speed of this little bastard. No wonder there's rubber all over the frickin' road. It's been doing burnouts and donuts all frickin' day. Easy now, fella. Easy now. If you don't pass this test, this vehicle isn't going onto the public roads. You had one job, Dimitri. One job. What the fuck is that? Look at the antenna coming off that fucking thing. No wonder he needs a freaking strapped harness thing like that and he's a steel plate on the front of it to hold the two tons of laptop he's apparently holding and have you ever heard of gps it's a lot more effective and efficient than radio controlled antenna the guy's like well i failed the test and hit the cone but fuck it i'm gonna do some burnouts and donuts before i leave for the day couple of robot press ups there <laughs> I'm not too sure what the fuck this is demonstrating, that it's a useless driver, although it has absolutely no ability of crossing obstacles that are about three foot high. What the fuck is going on here? It's now just doing a little dance, like a sea lion with a bloody basketball on its nose. Seems like a perfectly legitimate way for a highly sensitive piece of electronic equipment to land. That's not going to damage anything, is it? made that scene any more stupid with a main gun round going through a wheeled vehicle not taking out completely the guy crawls out the side and just falls flat on his face on fire <laughs> 
you've got to love the effort they put into these videos. It's kind of amusing. I mean, they've put the effort into putting Kill on his headband for his goggles, but they haven't managed to put the brass being ejected out of his rifle, which is clearly doing nothing towards a burnt vehicle. heavy breathing of the casualty is kind of creepy. I mean, I see what they're trying to get. At. He's injured, but it sounds like an old man fapping in the background. <laughs> Hello, Mong HQ. You're in contact? Holy shit, we best set the robots out. Where are you? Oh, Jesus, not those two again. Okay, we'll send out the robots straight away. Hold tight. <laughs> so they pretty much have a troop level size of tanks in this base here, yet they'd much rather send the automated, dushka mounted, six wheel, really good at doing coned courses robots. guy at the front gates like, hey guys, there's a, there's a fucking stop sign, you know? <laughs> this looks like the scene from a Michael Bay movie where some North American city gets annihilated. I love the little micro-explosive reactive armor modules they put on the side of this thing. They're like little Lego cubes, like little tiny Lego cubes of explosive reactive armor all over the damn thing. Pretty cute. Ah, it looks like our little unmanned vehicles have come into a perfect ambush, and once again, another soldier with a born to kill on his goggles headband. Oh my god, what is this, the infantry section of retards? It's just ridiculous, just shoot the damn things. And I always find it kind of funny whenever, you know, US soldiers, because I'm presuming that's what they're trying to depict here with the born to kills and all the typical stereotypical bullshit they put onto American troops. Why is it they always have to roll their sleeves up halfway up? It always defeats the purpose of having long sleeve jackets slash shirts. You might as well just have a short sleeve top. It just, I know, it's funny. <laughs> oh my god. That was brutal. That was a horrible way to die. You get shot then bounces three times off the railings off a building. <laughs> and to top it off, the rifle nearly slams on top of his head. Oh, look at this. We've got a bit of robot wars going on here. This is pretty cool. Right back at each other. Oh, plastic glow. Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Warhead has been decapitated. 
Well, that lasted long, didn't it? Wait a minute, that looks like a Vauxhall Astra. Please blow that up. Please blow that car up. Meh, it's better than nothing. I guess those fucking driving tests didn't do much for them. Look at that fucking textbook flying king maneuver right there. I mean, you can't you can't get taught that. Just bust through walls, guys. That's what we need to start doing. We just need to go around the corner of the building, bust through the wall, and take him out. That's that's what we've been doing wrong all this time in Fallujah and Baghdad and all these different conflict zones. Why the fuck aren't we just going on a right flank, knocking out a couple of Oxal Astras, driving around the corner, busting through a wall, and launching an ATGM into the side of the tank? We're doing it all wrong, guys. I don't know what anti-tank missile that's supposed to be, but clearly the Hellfire and the Brimstone have nothing on this little thing packed into three tubes on the back of an unmanned drone. What was in those fucking rounds? Napalm? Like, why is the tank covered in flames all of a sudden? If it was a fucking anti-tank missile, I would just puncture through it and knock it out. Ah look, another Born to Kill Goggle Headband. I think that should be changed to Born to Mong, because that's clearly what this platoon is doing, because they have not still had the ability to take out these bloody drones. Clear back blast! Did he get shot, or did he just stab himself accidentally with a needle from behind that dumpster, or have some sort of epileptic fit? Because what on earth was that? Great fire effects there. Another one bites the dust. Come on, buddy, you can do it. You can do it. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Kill it. No, you fucked it. anyone actually going to hit one of these bloody things with an anti-tank missile? It seems so unrealistic that Spider-Man could potentially show up any minute swinging from building to building to take these things out. You'd think the first eight of their comrades that have been killed by trying to take these things out by small arms fire may have given them a bit of a heads up to not continue doing it, but clearly not. <laughs> these things are brutal. They've just been taken out by small arms fire and they just thought, well, we'll throw a few frag grenades in there just to make sure they're down. Wait a minute, is that a fucking Challenger 2? Epic. You know fine well that these fucking stupid little drones are going to take it out, but it is rather amusing that the tank doesn't even notice that it's there. It's just like trundling along, la da 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 da. Well, we didn't see that one coming, did we? Not gonna lie to you, that crew kinda deserved to die, because they carried on driving after a Challenger 2 got taken out, and yeah. But it's surprising how the 50 cal rounds don't even pierce through these bastards. Oh, here we go, attempt number 4 to take out two small drones with an anti-tank weapon. Let's see how he does. Kissing his ass goodbye. He's literally saying his final prayers. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, they've brought in the big boys, and not even they can pierce the armor of this little bastard. Looks like those Lego bricks really are earning their paycheck right here, because apparently, 
Apparently, 30mm rounds are not piercing this little fucker's armour. What the fuck just happened? So, for some reason he's coming on a low altitude strike on these two little shits, and he decides to use his fucking side rockets instead of the perfectly good anti-tank hunting missiles that he can use from long distance. Yeah, this is a good pilot. Very good pilot. They finally got one and only took an entire platoon of infantry and an Apache helicopter to try and take one. My god, the Yanks just really aren't doing too well here, are they? And is it just me, or is the next Apache that's coming around the corner, does it even have a tail rotor? So many flames, and normally when a helicopter gets hit it goes down when an engine's spooling down, not up as this one is. God, this pilot's inconsiderate as fuck. How the fuck is anyone in this city supposed to know where to park now? He could have crashed somewhere a little bit more convenient. What the fuck is this? A scene from a Terminator movie or something? I need your clothes, your boots, and your unmanned vehicle. I love how it just drives on as if nothing has ever even happened. It's just stopped at a red light and off it goes again. Nobody knows it but me. Chevy Tahoe, like a rock. Could you literally get any more complex of a way of firing ammunition through a barrel? I mean, look at that thing. It looks like a fucking plant. Poor fucking guy's just trying to take a dump next to his anti-tank missiles and he's getting fucking smoke grenades launched into his bloody shit box. Now, I gotta admit, that actually looks pretty fucking cool. It'd be a pretty cool concept, but let's be honest, the guy who made this video was either high or drunk. Because if you think you're gonna pull me out on a shopping trolley out of a fucking war zone, you got another thing coming.
poor Chanter 2s that are apparently oblivious that these little bastards are ruining this city. And yes, you've already seen this at the beginning of the video, but it is hilarious to watch how they actually pull off this fantastic maneuver against two main battle tanks. Well, there you have it guys, these three little bastards have not only saved this guy's life but taken out nearly a company strength worth of tanks, well basically about two Apache helicopters and a platoon of infantry. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video, please, please, please leave a like and a comment. Also guys, if you do uh, wish to contribute any donations towards my channel, I have opened up a PayPal direct account so you are more than happy to um, donate anything there and obviously it's not expected at all but it would be appreciated. All the best, have a great day and happy 2017!